Welcome to our channel. Since ancient times, snakes have been regarded as mysterious beings, simultaneously objects of reverence. They appear in various myths and religions, where they are sometimes depicted as negative entities and at other times as objects of worship. Throughout the world, one can find stories of enigmatic snake-like creatures that hide in the wilderness. Is it possible that some of these stories contain elements of truth? But before we take a look at these fascinating creatures, be sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up with our mystery content. Without further ado, let's get started. Yakamama The mother of water from South America invokes terror, described as a giant snake reaching lengths of up to 30 meters, which is said to inhabit the Amazon rainforest. On one of the many hidden lakes deep within the jungle of Ucayali, an apparent tranquility reigns. Dense trees, shrubs, and vines emit their usual sounds, and a man on his boat in the middle of the water can enjoy a good day of fishing. The water is teeming with fish, and his net already contains a decent catch. When the man decides to return to the shore and share the good news with his tribe, he notices that he is being observed by someone or something. He slowly turns around and sees just a few meters from his boat above the water an enormous head with two yellow eyes and a swiftly moving forked tongue. At that moment, real terror takes hold of him. Without thinking, he plunges into the water and swims as fast as he can towards the shore. Eventually, he manages to make it to dry land. With his last ounces of strength, he forges through the jungle, trying to ignore the fact that a gigantic snake's body is somewhere behind him. In a hushed voice, he whispers the dreadful words, Yakumama, and silently prays that this queen of all snakes will spare his life. The described story reportedly has a history of hundreds of years and was once narrated by an old fisherman to his fellow villagers. He claimed that back then, he prayed to the gods on the land's edge to ward off Yakumama, and something extraordinary happened. The heavens opened, and four tapirs fell from the sky to drive away the approaching snake. This account may sound unbelievable, but it underscores the prevalence of stories about the Mother of Water, which is the translation of the name of this fearsome serpent in present-day Peru. The snake itself is indeed terrifying. Imagine a colossal python, a monumental giant measuring over 30 meters in length, moving in the oceans. And now, imagine that in the South American jungle, there exists a snake of nearly the same length. This may sound incredible, but many local residents still believe in its existence. They believe it continues to hide in rivers and lakes, slithering through the trees, and eagerly devouring other animals and even humans. In this case as well, ancient myths play a foundational role. For centuries, Peruvian Indians believed that Yakumama is the mother of all water beings. It was tradition. And this tradition continues to this day, that before entering the water, indigenous people must blow a special conch shell horn, which is believed to protect them. Supposedly, this monster cannot resist the sound, revealing its presence, allowing the Indians to determine if the water is safe. But it's not just about these superstitions. The last 200 years have brought many testimonies, some of which are quite intriguing. For example, in 1907, it is claimed that British military officer, explorer, and adventurer Percy H. Fawcett killed a massive snake, measuring up to 20 meters in length during his travels. He sent a 44 caliber bullet directly into its spine, just a few meters below its fearsome head. In his notes, he writes, My Indian companions begged me not to shoot. They said this monster could kill everyone on board. It is true that there are several reports from witnesses who claim to have seen a giant snake in the Amazon. One of these witnesses, priest Victor Hines, estimated the visible part of the snake to be 25 meters long. There are also accounts of an incident where a giant snake was supposedly killed by Peruvian soldier Carlos Palomino, as well as experiences shared by some hunters and guides who claim that there is a snake in the Amazon at least 15 meters in length. In today's environment, such an enormous snake would face significant survival challenges, not only due to insufficient temperatures and an unsuitable habitat, but also because of limited food availability. Many scientists speculate whether the reported snake lengths might be exaggerated, and many people who claim to have seen a giant snake could have actually encountered a common anaconda. Overall, it's an intriguing question whether such a giant snake as claimed by some witnesses truly exists in the Amazon or whether it's more of a legend and exaggeration. Grutzlang. 
It is a fascinating creature from South Africa associated with myth and mystery. This giant snake, purportedly possessing an elephant's head, is said to inhabit the desert region of Richtersveld in South Africa. Reports about the Grootslang are mysterious and bizarre, and many people in the area still believe in its existence. The mythic tale of this majestic being has deep roots in local folklore. According to these legends, the Grootslang was considered the first creature created by the gods. This snake was endowed with immense strength, cunning, and intelligence. When the gods began to fear its danger, they decided to divide it into two beings, leading to the creation of the first elephants and snakes. However, it's essential to note that the Grootslang is primarily part of local folklore and myths. Scientists approach these stories with skepticism and consider them legends and folklore. The veracity of the Grootslang's existence as a physical creature remains a mystery, and it's likely that these are tales rooted in the rich local culture and history. The story that connects the Grootslang with the idea that one of the original Grootslangs escaped the gods, hid, and became the father of subsequent generations of this creature has its own mysterious atmosphere. According to this legend, Grootslangs hide in the mountains and lure large animals, which they subsequently devour. The current Grootslang is said to reside in a massive cave known as the Bottomless Pit, or the Miraculous Hole. Simultaneously, it is said that this cave is full of diamonds, other precious stones, and valuable metals, which is believed to be the reason why the Grootslang is considered dangerous to humans. There are also reports of people attempting to find and document the Grootslang but ending up in parallel situations or disappearing, such as the case of English merchant Peter Grayson in 1917. Undoubtedly, there are many mysteries and stories associated with the Grootslang that continue to capture people's attention and imagination. However, it's important to note that these are myths and legends, and the veracity of these stories remains unverified. There are several theories and legends regarding Grootslang and its possible existence. One of these theories suggests that this giant snake does indeed inhabit the bottom of the Orange River, and its presence would be revealed by the wide furrow it leaves on the muddy banks. Some explorers, like F.C. Cornell, claimed that Grootslang lurks in the river, waiting for livestock to come and drink. However, Later researchers and travelers were more skeptical about the existence of this colossal serpent, proposing that the tales might have originated from observations of a large, but otherwise common snake. For instance, South African journalist and writer Lawrence G. Green believed that the Grootslang myth could have arisen from sightings of indigenous pythons, which can grow up to seven meters in length. The truth about Grootslang's existence remains unverified, increasingly steeped in the realm of legends and folklore. It serves as another example of how myths and folklore can influence perceptions of mysterious creatures and animals across different cultures. Naga. It is a fascinating mythological being mentioned in traditional texts and legends in Southeast Asia, particularly in Buddhist and Hindu traditions. Nagas are typically described as semi-divine entities resembling enormous cobras and are associated with numerous supernatural abilities. In these traditional texts, they play various roles, including serving as protectors of the Buddha's teachings. It's important to note that Nagas are primarily mythological beings, and their significance and roles are intertwined with religious and cultural beliefs in their respective cultures. Nagas symbolize various aspects, including wisdom, water, wealth, and spiritual protection. While Nagas are primarily mythical beings, in some legends and stories, there may be a basis of truth or inspiration from observations of real snakes, especially those with a prominent cobra-like appearance. However, the mythological significance of Nagas is deeply rooted in the religious and cultural contexts of South and Southeast Asia, where they are primarily perceived as symbols and archetypes. The perception of Nagas did indeed begin to change during the 19th and 20th centuries, primarily due to increasing interest in unknown creatures and cryptozoology, the study of mysterious or unconfirmed animals. Many people began to consider the possibility that Nagas could be real, flesh and blood beings, and some observations of unknown creatures in Asian rivers and lakes fueled these speculations. One example is an event from 1944, when several individuals claimed to have seen a mysterious serpentine creature near the Chinese village of Chenjiawezi. A similar observation was made by British engineer Arthur Potter a decade later at Lake Chini in Malaysia. His description of a creature with red eyes and a long, smooth body resembling a snake was later referred to as Dragonwick. 
but local residents interpreted this sighting as an encounter with the legendary Naga. Even though these observations are fascinating, there is still no compelling scientific evidence for the existence of actual Nagas. These stories are more a part of cryptozoology and folklore, and the truth of these sightings remains a subject of debate and speculation. The legend of Nagas and similar mysterious creatures inhabiting rivers, lakes, and caves in Asia has many variations and regional differences. Many aquatic areas in Asia have their own stories and myths associated with these mystical beings, and some of these stories may contain elements of both protection and fear of these creatures. There is a possibility that some of these stories may be inspired by real animals, but these claims should be subject to scientific investigation and analysis. The giant oarfish is one possible candidate that could be the basis for some of these legends. This species can grow to large sizes and has an appearance that might seem unusual or mysterious. However, specific cases of these creatures should be thoroughly examined by zoologists and ethologists to determine the exact identity of the observed animals. A skeptical approach to these legends is important, but it's also important to respect the cultural and religious significance these stories may have for local communities. Namibian Winged Snake Flying snakes are a fascinating topic in the field of cryptozoology. There are various legends and stories about flying snakes, and some of them may contain elements of myths and folklore. The Namibian Winged Snake is one such legend. This creature is described as a snake with bat-like wings, a large head, and peculiar protrusions resembling horns. Many stories about flying snakes take the form of folk narratives rather than stemming from specific observations. Cryptozoology is an intriguing discipline, but confirming the existence of unknown animals requires solid scientific evidence, which is currently lacking in most of these cases. The stories about flying snakes in Namibia are indeed interesting and have a long history. Witnesses from various cultures and periods claim to have seen this mysterious creature and have provided various accounts of their observations. Missionaries, European hunters, and indigenous people have all contributed to these stories. According to these stories, flying snakes have the ability to launch themselves from high cliffs, and their flight is described as erratic, with a steep landing that leaves specific traces in the dusty soil. One such story involves a young Michael Esterheis who threw a stone at what he thought was a large monitor lizard lurking in a rocky crevice. Such testimonies can be fascinating, but while there are various theories about what observers might have seen, it is still unclear whether flying snakes actually exist or if these stories are myths or confusion with other animals. The stories of flying snakes in Namibia are intriguing and have garnered the attention of cryptozoologists and other researchers. There are several testimonies and stories describing encounters with these mysterious beings. One such story is the incident involving Michael Esterheis, who saw a snake with a pair of wings. Similarly, in a documentary broadcasted in 1995, Testimonies of several eyewitnesses claiming to have seen flying snakes were presented. Some researchers, including South African Museum curator Marjorie Courtenay Latimer, have examined the alleged traces said to be left by these snakes when landing, and concluded that they might be caused by some type of snake. However, it remains an open question whether these traces are actual evidence of the existence of flying snakes. On the other hand, Skeptics argue that all testimonies are unsubstantiated and that they might be fabrications or confusion with other animals. There is also speculation that rumors of the wings of these snakes could originate from myths about feathered snakes that are part of the local mythology of some African tribes and indigenous cultures. Overall, this topic is fascinating and still shrouded in mystery, with many unanswered questions that require further research and investigation. Hoop Snake Legends of this creature are fascinating and belong to the many cryptids and beings that are passed down in American folklore. These snakes are described as small black snakes with a stinger at the end of their tails, and they are said to have the ability to bite their own tails and roll themselves into a hoop. These stories are primarily passed down in areas like Minnesota, Wisconsin, and North Carolina. The first mentions of the hoop snake appeared in the 18th century among American settlers, who supposedly adopted these stories from the indigenous Native American tribes that had inhabited the region for centuries. Legends of these snakes with hoop rolling abilities have become a part of American folklore and inspire stories of people fleeing from the rolling snake. The stories of the hoop snake are indeed fascinating, and there are several historical records and testimonies about these creatures. 
While many of such stories and testimonies may be considered folklore or legends, some of them are documented in various sources and records, suggesting that some people did claim to have seen a hoop snake. Scientists typically emphasize that scientific evidence is necessary to prove the existence of new species or cryptids. Without this evidence, stories of hoop snakes remain in the realm of folklore and legends, and many skeptics and scientists maintain a cautious stance towards such stories. Titanoboa. This giant snake that is mentioned in legends and stories from North Africa, specifically Egypt. Although Titanoboa is primarily known from ancient geological history, Titanoboa is a unique species of giant snake that lived during the Paleocene period, around 60 to 58 million years ago, in the territory of today's Colombia in South America. It was an enormous reptilian creature that reached lengths of up to 12 meters and weighed up to 300 kilograms. The legend of a giant snake in Egypt or other North African countries may be merely remnants of old myths and folklore and may not have any basis in the real world. When it comes to such legends, it's important to consider the historical context and knowledge of prehistoric species like Titanoboa. These legends can serve as a way for people to create their own stories and myths about giant snakes, but they may not necessarily reflect actual biology or paleontology. Regarding giant snakes in Egypt and North Africa, Historical records and paleontological evidence show that these regions were home to some large snake species in the past. Some of these species, such as Giganthophus and Titanoboa, were true giants among snakes. Giganthophus was a giant snake that lived in Africa around 40 to 30 million years ago, and its skeletal remains have been discovered in Morocco and Mali. It was estimated to reach lengths between 11 and 18 meters, making it one of the largest snakes in history. However, both of these snakes were immensely large and could have existed in Africa and South America in the past, but there is no credible evidence of their existence in the present. Climatic and ecological conditions have changed significantly since then, which could hinder the survival of such a large and specific snake species. Historical records and findings of remains of these giant snakes allow us to better understand paleontology in the past and their amazing stories. Giant from the Congo. This fascinating creature was encountered by Colonel Remy Van Leerde in 1959, who provided only limited evidence of the existence of such a creature. Due to the lack of concrete evidence such as quality photographs, videos, or physical remains, this report remains at the level of eyewitness accounts and historical accounts. Colonel Van Leerde had a good reputation and his testimony is significant, but such observations can be prone to errors or misidentifications. The enormous snake could have been confused with other large animals, or it is possible that it was an exceptionally large individual of a known snake species, such as a python or anaconda. Scientists and researchers are still trying to learn more about the fauna of the Congo jungle. Although it is challenging to conduct surveys in such densely forested and inhospitable environments, the accuracy of this story and the actual existence of a giant snake remain unclear for now. Nabao. This is another example of a myth associated with a giant snake, which originates in the Sarawak region of Borneo. According to local mythology, Nabao is a monstrous snake with deep roots in the mythology and traditional beliefs of the indigenous people of Borneo. In January 2009, there was a report of the observation of a huge snake from a helicopter, which attracted increased media and public attention. This observation was significant as it was documented but there is still a lack of evidence that would conclusively confirm the existence of such a monstrous snake. Scientists conduct research in the Sarawak region of Borneo, but have not been able to confirm the existence of this giant snake so far. Although stories and observations related to Nabao are emerging, substantial scientific evidence remains unclear. The story of the observation of a giant snake from a helicopter in 2009 sparked great interest, particularly among local people who have significant mythological and religious connections to this snake. In their tradition, it is considered a patara, a divine being with supernatural abilities. It is important to consider that natural disasters, such as floods, can cause various phenomena, including the movement of animals from their usual habitats. Water can displace snakes and other wildlife, leading to unusual observations. It is not ruled out that in such a situation, a snake larger than the typical snakes in the area may have been seen. Tsuchinoko. It is a fascinating cryptid that appears in Japanese culture and folklore, 
Many people describe its peculiar appearance, claiming that this snake-like creature has several unusual features, such as two horns on its head, an orange belly with large scales, and a unique body shape. Despite its bizarre characteristics and indistinct appearance, there are numerous accounts of Tsuchinoko sightings in Japan. In Japanese folklore, the Tsuchinoko is often portrayed as something between a snake and a mythical creature. Stories about it date back hundreds of years, and many individuals assert that they have seen it and even captured it. These reports are often accompanied by various legends and tales about the Tsuchinoko's abilities, including its capability to jump. While there are many accounts of Tsuchinoko sightings, there is no solid evidence to confirm its existence. Cryptozoological reports, especially those about such legendary creatures, are often subjective and can be influenced by various factors, including illusion, enthusiasm, and culture. In the case of Tsuchinoko, its unusual appearance and abilities can lead to intriguing reports and legends. Many people may be willing to claim that they have seen or encountered it. Japanese culture has a long tradition of creating legends and stories about fantastical creatures, and Tsuchinoko has become one of these legendary creatures that is a popular subject in the media and popular culture. It is true that in the case of Tsuchinoko, as with many cryptids, it's difficult to determine whether it represents a new species of snake or an existing snake that has been misidentified or incorrectly described. When people describe a creature that is so different from known snake species, it can lead to speculation about a new subspecies or previously undiscovered species. This is a common characteristic of many cryptids. Zoologist Brent Swanser is correct in suggesting that a new species of pit viper, or rattlesnake, might be the most likely explanation. Many snake species exhibit variations in appearance and coloration, which could explain the Tsuchinoko's unusual appearance. Furthermore, scientific discoveries of new animal species occur regularly, including new snake species. However, until specific evidence is provided to confirm the existence of Tsuchinoko, this mystery remains open and enigmatic. Cryptozoology deals with the study of such mysteries and unexplained phenomena, and if scientific evidence of Tsuchinoko's existence were presented, it would be quite revolutionary. Until then, Tsuchinoko remains a subject of interest and speculation, but without hard evidence of its existence. That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos.